This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello guys, welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be taking a look on the tool named Euro. But before in the video we are having announcements that we are having the upcoming batch of Adas Work Bounty Training open registration so you can take a look from the link in the description. And this batch is having few more contents added, few more tools and resources given by us. So definitely you can take a look on the contents here. This was the contents. Apart from all these things, we are having few more things into it, updated syllabus curriculum and additional time for live hunting sessions. So make sure you take a look on this and let's get in the video. So here we have our computer screen now. Now let me take a look on the tool I'm talking about. That's a quick video about it, but say. So this is the Euro tool by Somdev and what we are taking a look on it, it's very simple. While testing for URLs, we are having a messed up result like this that we are even having things like, you know, uh, mixed up input and all this type of things. And also we are having this type of things like cat details or HTML. Then we are having duplicates of it, but with just a different number. And we will we might be also having things like you know have parameters and IDs into this. So what this tool do simply is remove all this type of things and only keep the ones which are kind of important to us, including it will also sort out the duplicates of it. Plus, if there is a more parameter in a single URL, then yeah, definitely it won't remove them and give us the exact other one. Now, how to install these tools? We are having plenty of options. You can simply uh, install it like this and the usage is very simple now if we just take an example here I'm on my terminal now let's go to the temporary directory now let me just do a simple thing way back URLs or we can even use parameter we can use a lot of things to have a you know kind of intelligently sorted things that we might need to use so <coughs> here we are having our terminal and let's do way back to tesla.com and then just make a file with www so here it was uh, way back is done now let's take a look how much number of lines we do have and we have around 3,49,700 lines of way back for now I got this much now we need, we need to sort out which ones are not useful right so on that note what we will do we will just simply do opening this file and then just writing URO Euro and we can write a new file URO.txt or just URO now it is not going to take much time it's just going to take like 3 to 5 seconds and here we have the file cat URO now if we take a look yeah we got it sorted out to almost half not actually half but let's say it's around or near half so what will it do is uh, are they sorted too much that we need to take a look on them so kind of most of them are uh, with the file ending with js json something like that and including few parameters going on here let's just take a bit more into it and you can see here are few parameters yes we do have them now we can use this in x type of things like yeah we got this type of things and if any parameter is having multiple outputs then it might change the output of it so let's see how we can use it practically so suppose if you want to just take a look on the redirects you can take a look on like redi or something like that oh sorry grab and then we can add it we got no results let's change it to id we got few let's say id equals to we got few now when we use this type of tools when you are trying to sort out things but not using some automated tools and something like that like GF and GFX to it but yep this might be helpful for us and when you are trying to take a manual look on all the wayback files and having a good observation of it this might be useful if it's only taking to look on you know like grappling JS it is also uh, doing that so even if you want to use some sort of things like automation so I want to integrate into some automation this would be definitely good to go tool and few more uses of it you can kind of you know integrate it to find x number of bugs and use it on gf maybe 
you can just sort the usage of it on your own dependencies or how you want to use it so i guess you might be having one more question that why are we not uh, willing to go with the uh, gf and all these types of tools so there might be few reasons if you want to do it by your own way and have a sorted out results then that's when we going to use the euro but when you are going to use the gfx you are going to uh, do specific things like finding a sort of parameters go with that but on my suggestion i will use gf for doing integrating into multiple tools like if i'm getting automation flow yep i will do gf on that and also you know if i want to fuzz it more and more and more so it depends on you how you want to use each of the tool based on your preferences but i think uro is a good to go tool and that's why this was the short video about it so i guess that's for it uh thank you for watching like and subscribe and don't forget to take a look on the links in the description